Yo, oh, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to cover how to repair a LiPo balance plug as a beginner. Now, if you've watched one of my last videos, I crashed my quad, I broke the balance lead uh, on my battery, and some of you asked how am I going to repair it. So today we're going to cover that. It's going to be a super short video, hopefully. Uh, let's just get straight into it. Right guys, so now what you're basically going to need is you're obviously going to have a battery that has a broken uh, uh, balance connector like this you can see mine's broken pretty much in half you're going to need a replacement battery connector make sure that this is the same cell count as the one that you're replacing if it's 6s you're going to need 6s i'll put some links down in the description of kind of where you can get them there'll be amazon links so you guys can probably order those from wherever you live and then you're going to need something really small like this um, so that you can get the you can get the leads out now um, the first thing you want to do is get um, the cables out of this connector because this is what we want. We want to get this connector thing over here out. Now, it might be really difficult to show you guys, but essentially inside here, inside here what you have is each of these has their own little like um, clip that, that pops out. And what you need to do is you basically need to push the clip, push the clip down at the same time as pulling the cable is putting the cable a few inches later okay so that wasn't very really, really easy but now i can show you basically each of these cables has the tiniest little okay has the tiniest little little thing there i don't know if you can see that and basically what you need to do is you need to push that down push the cable a little bit forward and then pull it back so it obviously sits up it obviously sits up inside inside there so you want to push it down push the cable forward and then pull it back um, I'm gonna go ahead and do all of these. It's it's not that quick of a process. Sometimes it's quick, sometimes it's not. I'm gonna do all of these and then what we'll have is this little cap and we can move forward from there. Okay. Easy enough. Can you see now we have all of these out? Now, the, once we get all of them out, we have this. Now, this is the thing that we're trying to replace. Now, this is a top safety moment here for all of you guys. If you imagine each of these cables on your actual battery, um, link up to one of the cells so if you imagine these are all plates lying inside you if you imagine them as plates between each of the cells this is the connector so that allows the battery to read this is what basically allows your charger to tell you what the battery percentage is on each of the cells now essentially what that means is these things can't touch each other because if they touch each other you essentially complete the circuit and you and you might cause a problem so when we start replacing these we need to be very careful that we take one out at a time and then replace them straight back into um into their new case into their new case over here so um, i'm doing my best to film this obviously it might not work very well but i'm going to start with um i'm going to start with the red one first uh, and i think it's just red because they want you to keep on the same side so be sure that you kind of line it up the same you can see here this is the top of this one this is the top of this one so i'm going to take the red one out and put the red one inside this left hand side and the whole time we're just making sure that we don't touch anything so this is going to go into this left hand side over here push it in boom done okay you can see you can see now the battery lead the cable is plugged in on the left hand side and i'm just going to go one at a time all the way through remembering that you want to make sure you don't touch anything with the other ones um, and you want to try to keep the same order i don't necessarily think the order makes too much difference actually the order yeah the order definitely does make a difference because that's how it reads the battery so just make sure you take the same order um, and put them in the same way and everything will be fine and dandy this and you're probably wondering why are there seven leads when i only have a 6s battery in this case or why would i have five if i have a 4s battery um, that's a good question and i will explain that to you in a hot second so there we go we've replaced we've replaced the battery lead uh the balance connector um and it all works perfectly fine now you might be asking why are there seven here let's just double check that there are seven yeah why why are there seven uh why are there seven cables but i only have a 6s battery uh and i will show you in a second so if you imagine and hopefully this will work let's just make sure if each of your batteries are made up of these little boxes 
boxes. They're not really boxes, but so one, two, three, four, five, six. So if you imagine that's what your battery looks like, essentially, these are each of the cells. So these are cells. Yeah. You have a cable. So we'll have, there's one cable that comes from, from this side like that. That's one. Then you have the second one, the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, the sixth one, and then the seventh one. So you have seven cables because you have one on each side. And when you have six in pairs, you'll have one more than that. So that's why you have seven. And this comes off to your balance cable over here. And then the way that they, I don't, I'm not sure how they do the actual battery connector, but that's how the balance cable works. Anyway, that's how you do it. Right, there you go. That's how you replace the balance connector uh, on your LiPo battery. Now, you got to remember that this is a potentially dangerous thing to do. Um, and if you don't feel comfortable doing it, you shouldn't do it. Um, it is a relatively easy procedure as I've shown you over there. Um, and that's my understanding of how and why we have those battery leads. They are uh, the balance connectors rather. They are there to help you check the cell count, I mean, the cell, the cell charge and the entire battery charge. Um, so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped you. I literally made this um, because you guys asked for it. Todd, thank you so much for, um, for asking. Um, if you guys want to check out Todd's channel, he's a really lovely guy. Um, um, and yeah, thanks for your support again, Todd. And I will see you guys all in another video. Bye-bye.